vessel traffic along Ukrainian export corridor continues despite Russia's systematic attacks on port infrastructure. Ukraine launched the humanitarian corridor for ships bound for Africa and Asia in early August 2023 in order to try avoiding the Russian blockade of maritime experts in the Black Sea. Vessel traffic continues both to and from the ports of Odessa. Six vessels with 231,000 tons of agricultural products on board have left the ports of Odessa and are heading towards the Bosphorus. Five vessels are waiting to enter the ports for loading. Alexander Kubrakov, Minister of Infrastructure of Ukraine in Social Network X, formerly Twitter. In July 2023, the Kremlin withdrew from the grain deal, which was brokered by UN and Turkey and guaranteed the safe transport of Ukrainian grain in the Black Sea. Since then, the Russian army has regularly attacked Ukrainian port infrastructure. As a result of one of the attacks, the Russian missile damaged a civilian ship, which was carrying ore to China under the flag of Liberia near the port of Odessa. One person died and four others were injured. But even despite such risks, there are more and more ships that use Ukrainian Black Sea Corridor. At least nine of the vessels calling at Ukraine's Black Sea ports were Panamax vessels. Data showed among the biggest ships that transport grain globally, showing that some ship owners are willing to risk sending bigger and more valuable vessels to Ukraine despite the potential danger, from the Bloomberg publication. Ukraine is slowly regaining control over trade in the Black Sea ports, experts say. At the same time, Ukraine is expanding the possibilities of the land corridor operation. We focused. We are focusing on two alternatives. The first is to build up capacity and increase export opportunities via overland roads through Europe. We see the greatest potential in the roads that will deliver our grain to the ports of Romania and Bulgaria via Romanian territory. In October, Ukraine managed to increase exports of agricultural products to 4,800,000 tons. It is also ready to resume supplies of agricultural products to Indonesia. Despite Russia's attempts to hinder civilian navigation in the Black Sea, Ukraine remains a guarantor of global food security. In particular, the head of state informed about alternative grain corridors and assured that Ukraine is ready to resume the supply of agricultural products to Indonesia. Volodymyr Zelensky, president of Ukraine, on Telegram. The EU has offered to buy Ukrainian grain to help the Middle East. The head of the European Council, Charles Michel, called such an initiative a strong gesture of solidarity and efficiency. Reported by Anastasia Tarnavska, Natalia Husak, Volodymyr Stenhelov, UATV News.